Hello and welcome once again to Portal 2. My name is Zaid, like always. We're going to be getting into another chamber today, and this one's kind of a fun one. In fact, I find it very fun. Now, if you've played Portal 2, there's a part where a certain robot overlord is trying to kill you, and that's what this chamber is supposed to emulate. It was actually made for the theme of traps on fan chamber reviews, but it never got posted. It didn't get posted until way later, so you know, whatever. But it was really, it's really fun. It's very uh, fast-paced, I guess. But let's just get into it, and you can see for yourself. Now I keep forgetting to say this when we're on the other screen, but if you do want to play this beforehand. There is a link, as always, in the description below, but if not, just keep watching here as we go into Vigilance. Oh, well, it seems, uh, you know, pretty simple, right? We just press a button in this empty room. Oh, oh, oh lordy. Yep, it has to be pretty quick on the draw there, otherwise it will push you into that laser grid. Oh, actually, you know what I should do? I should quick save. Okay, now let's do this part. This part has been known to kill me a few times, so... Oh my... Okay, that was, that was intense. Uh, that was cutting it really close. Now, if you need more time on that part, you can actually portal over to that side if you think you'd be uh, better doing that, and then set up this wall, and then get, and then what you want to do is get on the platform as it's moving back, because it'll give you plenty of time to set up the portal at the end of the hallway, and then set up the portal down here. But yeah, there is a portal, portal surface down here, so that can be missed because it is barely noticeable. So, you gotta keep an eye out. Now this hallway was designed so you could portal to the end of it if you wanted to. And I advise running forward here. Now you don't have to do this. If you don't do this, you're going to want to portal like there and then portal up here. Or actually even directly, well, you can't portal directly above it, but you can portal sort of like here, as you think. But yeah, that's what you're going to want to do if you don't run straight forward. Now what we want to do now is run straight forward again and get rid of these. Oh no, I failed. I am not without my own failures. Alright, well, let's see if I can do this part as smoothly as I did it last time. And then this time save after we get through it. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try this again, but this time I'm not going to go straight forward, because I know there's a way to do, the, do it without going straight forward. Actually, we could do this, which might be better. Who's there? Hey. Goodbye. There we go. I initially kind of wanted to make these not uh, killable, or I guess not killable, but uh, disableable. But I couldn't figure out a way to make it so it wasn't just annoying, but you had to constantly avoid them. So I made them killable or disableable. Poor little turrets. And then last one. Oh god. Oh. Behind ya. Oh. Okay. Ow. Okay, there we go. So now we have a cube and a button that'll refresh that cube. I'm not gonna press it. But. Here we go. So we have a cube, a button, and some 
portable surfaces in hallways. Let's go check out these hallways. Actually, let's go check out this hallway. Now these hallways are identical. They both have a link, like a portable surface back here, and they both have a death grid that requires this button being pressed off. So you do need to get up there, put the portal there, and then come back down here to put this down. Now you'll notice the only ant lines in this chamber are for those back death, gr death grids. And the reason I did that is so that you're not this would be really confusing. There'd be lines all over the place. That was actually a pretty good design choice on my part, where everything ended up being nice and orderly. I think that's part of the reason why these lights are here, because I think they used to crawl up the wall and go in. Because they do some really silly things if you don't try to control them a bit. Alright, so I think we're good here. Oh, we actually are good here. Uh, if we go to the other side, there is actually a moving platform that'll bring you up to the top again, so it's literally just kind of like a little bit of a troll. Um, I put it on the right because most people are right-handed, so you're sort of inclined to go right, even like I was there. And I was like, no, I need to go left, right? That's where the that's where the moving platform is. Well, I got it backwards because I was thinking too hard about it. But yeah, there's a little bit of a troll chamber here, but you've pretty much solved the map by that point, so I figured it wasn't that big of a deal to do. And it's nice, it shows you off this room, so you know where you have to go. Well, anyway, that was Vigilance. Uh, pretty short chamber, but it's supposed to be. It's all supposed to be avoiding getting killed and running through it as fast as you can, so... You know, its purpose is fulfilled. Well, I will see you next time in... Uh, I think it's... You know what? I'm not even going to bother trying. I'm just going to... You'll just know when you get to the next episode. I will see you there. Bye now.